Um, well, we're with Robin and we're trying to learn um, one of the moves that he has in his holiday on ice show. And what move is that? Um, wheel. Explain what that move is. Well, there's two centre people, um, normally the biggest, and they hold it all in. And then people skate on from each side and like join behind their backs to keep us all compact. And we all skate round in like a spiral circle thing. Is it, is it a difficult move? Um, it's not really difficult. Timing is quite difficult, and um, joining in and trying to get your partner's hand in it kind of hurts your hand a bit, pulling them in a bit. How do you rate Robin's ice skating? Um, from what I've seen, it's very advanced, very good, and hoping one day I could be that standard. Uh, what, what move is he teaching you today? The big wheel. Okay. And what is the big wheel? It's when it's normally at the end of the holiday on ice. So where they all catch on to each other and just go around in a big circle. Is it a difficult move? Um, kind of, yeah, kind yeah. of. Okay, Miles, uh, some very impressive moves on the ice there. How long have you been skating? I've been skating for about seven years. Um, most of it has been figure, uh, hockey skating, but then I did start figure skating about three years ago. And I've always carried on, so I've always had the confidence, so it makes it easier. Uh, so Robin Cousins is here today. Uh, what kind of image does he have amongst uh, skaters like yourself? Um, just gives the image of everyone to inspire to, just something to look up to and want to look at that and try and do it yourself. Bit of a skating hero then? Yeah, he is, definitely. Well, a little promotion with Holiday Nights that's going to be here in West Point in Exeter in a week's time, but specifically here in Plymouth today to work with some of the local skating club on one of the things that makes Holiday Nights sort of um, work and that's the big pinwheel that we always have at the end. We have 30 skaters on the ice when we're doing it. I have 17 youngsters here but having said that I've never tried it before with a skating club and with, with people of this age and this, this level of skating so not really sure if it was going to work but they did a really good job. I was very impressed and I'm not just saying that but I'm, I was genuinely impressed. They, they focused, they learned the proper handhold. The little boy in the end I had to tell him the secret of how to be the last person running for the wheel and I did say to him, you know, he's, he's allowed to tell people the secret, but once he's told them, because they know it, he has to kill them. <laughs> so I'm hoping now that he, he I think he said, he, can, I, can I tell my dad? And I said, he's the only one. Tell us about dancing on ice. Uh, how, how influential do you think that is to the amount of people that are here today? 10 million people watching every Sunday night, which is a feat in itself. It, it is fantastic. And between the dancing ice people who are discovering now holiday ice, the holiday ice people who are discovering dancing ice, both of those lots of people whose children want to go skating for the first time, you know, it is pushing people through the doors of ice rinks and, and interest in peaking, especially around the Christmas areas when you have a lot of ice rinks around. The fact that this is a permanent rink, again, it may be not what everybody wants to see and it may be not very big, but at least it's here and it's working and it's usable. And, you know, as I said to somebody else, if it means that one of these kids not necessarily ends up at the Olympics, but decides that skating is something they would love to do in a career. They could end up in one of our shows at West Point in five, eight years' time. Who knows? So, so it's, it's fun. You're impressed with our talent then? As long as they're enjoying it, that's all you can ask for. You know, and, it, and you, you can't say, oh, they're going to be good, they're not going to be good. It's, 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 as I try to explain to them and they find it, it, it's just me put my skates and I get on the ice. They're doing now what I did when I was that age. There's nothing special or unique about it. There was nothing different than when I was training for the Olympics. It's just more intense, obviously. But for these kids to, to, to have a passion for it and enjoy it, and for me it doesn't matter whether it's skating, swimming, jumping, football, whatever. It's, the only reason to do it is because you like it. And then because of that, you'll realise that you actually can be quite good at it. And what would you say to anyone that was thinking of doing ice skating that's perhaps a little bit worried about how hard, hard it might be? What, what's your message to them? Get out there and have a go. And, and discover, you know, discover the, <laughs> my big white canvas, as I like to call it. You know, for me, it was always somewhere that I could just switch off and pretend my family weren't around and just get lost on the, you know, and, and dance. And then it's the freedom and the speed and everything that goes with it. You know, and, and a lot of kids will find that, that it's something, and again, it's something that a whole family can do together without having to be any good at it. It is something that everybody can play with. And we found this with our celebs and people like Steve Backley from Dancing on Ice. He suddenly found something he can do with his daughters. He said, you know, they're, they're getting to that age where I have nothing to, not, no connection with them. He takes them skating. It's fantastic. It's, it's probably the first time since childhood that I've been to Plymouth. Um, I used to travel around the, the West Country, but that really was Southampton and, and Brighton where the ice rinks were, and then Bristol... Bournemouth, Birmingham, wherever the rinks were, Streatham. So, you know, we used to come here as a getaway and holiday and, you know, down to Paynton and, and it's such a great part of the country. The last time I was here, I was, I was, when I performed in Exeter, I made some of our foreign skaters come down and see 
the coastline down here because I do, do think it's beautiful. So it's, um, I always enjoy my visits back here. I tend only to see the ice rink in the hotel, but it, you know, at least this time I've, I've been able to come a bit further south. Right. Do you think you'll be coming back? I hope so. Who knows? I mean, Holy Ice has been coming for a while. I would like to think that, that we'll encourage people to sort of come and see the show. And if we have to do more publicities, maybe we'll come and do it here. Five, six,